Hello fellow modelers! Today I have prepared for you a build of the legendary P38J Lightning from Tamiya. The Tamiya kit has already been presented several times and I will focus on the improvement of Edward X stories for this model. As I said, the model is top quality. The parts just need to be separated from the frame, lightly cleaned and assembled. Absolutely awesome! The kit also includes three weights for correct attitude of the aircraft with the nose landing gear. Since I don't use nose weights, I added piece of lead to the engine compartment.
The first accessory used is a gun bay from the Brazin edition. The set contains polyurethane parts printed on a 3D printer. Complete with the decals and photo edge part. First, I cleaned and assembled all the parts. Since the kit replaces the whole nose of the aircraft, it is necessary to modify the kit parts. Work carefully. Modification of parts shown in the instructions should be taken on as a guideline. It is important to test everything step by step. I haven't painted or glued the prepared gun bay into the model yet. I have to modify the cockpit. Here we have a lot of accessories to choose from. The first is a simple look set. A polyurethane dashboard and photo edge seat belts. All painted, just glued into the model. The large photo edge part set is a such a classic. It contains one colored and one uncolored set. The colored ones can be bought separately in the zoom set as well as the seat belt. Edward Space is a supplementary set containing not only colored photo edge parts but also decals printed on a 3D printer. Let's try to build this new item. First, we have to modify the parts of the kit.
After that, we apply some photo edge parts. We paint it and patina the prepared part. Three D decals are used in the same way as normal decals. Simply soak the decal in the water for a few seconds and let it release. Then apply with Mr. Setter. However, 3D decals only stick to flat surfaces. Where the decals needs to be shaped, we have to use super glue. The space cockpit is quite nice, but I decided to use the polyurethane cockpit parts from the Brazin series. Again, there are polyurethane parts printed on a 3D printer, completed with the photo edge parts and decals. Modification to the kit are minimal but I recommend testing everything first. Since the cockpit is next to the gun bay, it is necessary to modify the common bulkhead. Although, in the Tamiya kit we have the masks for the cap cover. The Eduard masks from the T-Face edition are already cut out for the outside and inside the canopy mask.
Another set from the Brazilian edition is flaps. Here again, more modifications of the kit are necessary. The photo edge parts are used to create the internal wing structure.
polyurethane flaps printed on a 3D printer are useless. They have very visible print layers and are deformed. I made the new ones from the parts cut from the kit and pieces of plastic. All the important adjustments are done and we can continue with the construction. We have a set of positive rivets to improve the surface of the aircraft.
But first we have to prepare the surface of the model. The rivets are printed together with the carrier layer of varnish, so they are handled in the same way as the decals. I recommend cutting the individual decal units into the smallest possible parts and applying them one by one. It is necessary to soak the decals properly and the same applies to the surface of the model. If the decal does not move easily, the rivet rows will be deformed. Of course, do not forget to use Mr. Setter in enough quantity.
After drying, we can proceed with painting the model. When using masking tape, please be aware that you are applying it to the decal. It is necessary to reduce its stickiness. I do this by repeatedly sticking the tape to the palm of my hand. For marking, I used decals printed again by Edward. From the set P38J over Europe, I chose the aircraft of Major Robert C. Rogers with nice nose art. I peeled off the covering varnish from the decals after they had dried completely.
I also used simple accessories which only replace parts of the kit. Undercarriage legs cast in bronze must be modified. The radiator holders from the older versions are still there. All you have to do is paint the polyurethane wheels, which will help us with the included masks. We will replace the polyurethane compressors as well. Tamiya's lightning kit is excellent, so why not make a cool build more complicated with some improvement? I will leave it up to you what accessories you choose for your model. As soon as I finish the model, Edward announced that they are preparing an engine kit for this model. So maybe next time. Thank you guys for your attention. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time.